Now Ruth and I, Ruth my wife that is, we decided that with the shutdown that we were going to do some cocktails. Friday night cocktails we had to do. And Ruth would make one and I'd make one. And Ruth has done very, very well and I'm going to make one of hers, which is called a Corpse Reviver. And it was created by Harry Craddock in 1930 in the Savoy Hotel in London. And he said after four of them, it would revive any dead body. He actually reckoned it was a pretty good hangover cure. Anyway, it is a ripper cocktail. And as I said, this is Ruth's cocktail, not mine. So let's see. Corpse Reviver, number two it is. And obviously in a cocktail shaker, decent amount of ice, to which we add 30 mils of good gin, Juniper Green Organic London Dry Gin. Oh, it sounds fancy, doesn't it? So 30 mils of that. 30 mils of Cointreau or Triple Sick. Not Grand Marnia, please, guys. 30 mils of Noli Pra, which is obviously a dry white vermouth. Ruth's made some terrific cocktails. I don't know about me, but she's made some terrific ones. I am not a cocktail man, I don't think. But I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm getting there. And also half of a lemon juiced. Now, I'll just get a glass out of the freezers and I'll put a little bit of absinthe in it. That'll do. We'll just leave that for the minute while I shake this. I am not the best cocktail barman in the world, as you can see. We used to have a guy called Possum who used to shake two above his head at the same time. A lot better at it than me. So what we do with this absinthe, it's a bit like when you make a dry, very dry martini and you put the vermouth in and then you tip it out. Well, it's a bit like that with this. So you put the absinthe in and you just swirl it around and out it goes. And then, into our glass. Oh, doesn't smell like Bruce one though. <laughs> it still smells good. Oh, Ian. <laughs> She's going to kill me. She's going to say, why couldn't you even make it the same as me? <laughs> Hopeless. Right, that's number one. That's Ruth's Corpse Reviver from Harry Craddock from the Savoy. Be back in two seconds because I've got something also in the freezer that I have to use for my one because I'm making a grasshopper. You'd have to remember grasshoppers and they were bloody awful. They were sweet and sickly and awful. Well this one's a bit better than that because this is the Hewitson version. 60 mils of white creme de cacao, 60 mils of creme de menthe. Now with that Corpse Reviver I reckon a twist of, of orange wouldn't hurt or lemon, but anyway, we, I haven't done that. I'm just, just suggesting. So, a couple of scoops, good scoops of ice cream. And when I say good scoops, I mean it. Just vanilla is fine, and then we'll whiz it up. Most probably a blender would be better. I haven't got a blender, I've got a processor, so that'll have to do. Well, one thing you can say about it, it's very green. When I first started in restaurants, these and Brandy Alexander's, these were the women's drink. The women always had these. Men didn't, the women didn't. Actually, men didn't drink cocktails, they, they drank beer. Anyway, looking good. Well, as I said, looking very green. Let's have a look. Actually, that's all right. Don't die of shock, it's not too sweet because of the ice cream. It's, that's all right, Ian. Now, I've just done some crocini with prosciutto there to go with it, because you need something to eat, don't you? Yeah, I could, I could actually drink that. I was a bit worried about it because, as I said, it wasn't the greatest cocktail in the world. That's nice. Anyway, a couple of cocktails for you to try. Have a shot at the one that Ruth made because it'll knock your socks off, kids. It'll knock your socks off.